Yo, that's pretty sick. <laughs> What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD. And today we are opening a crap ton of gift collections. There's a bunch of Mythic Booster packs in here and every pack is absolutely gorgeous to open. I actually got a whole case. I don't know if you guys have seen a case of these gift collections, but this is a whole case. There's six gift collections in here. I'm gonna open another four. So I'm gonna shrip them. 10 of these gift collections. If this is your guys' first time here and you wanna see shrip and beautiful shiny cardboards and deck profiles and Dragon Ball Super card game goodness, smush that subscription button. Even hit that little ding dong bell so you don't miss any videos. If you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you for coming by and let's pull a secret rare or some kind. I want that Goku. I want one of those Ultra Instinct Gokus. I'd be happy with that. All right, so this is the gift collection. I know you guys have seen a bunch of these already opened on YouTube probably, but they're really, really well designed product. I'm very, very happy with this product. I think it's a great idea to, to make something that includes a deck box and sleeves to get new players into the game and have some packs that have some packs that just have great staples in them. I mean, I gave I gave my buddy Kirk one of these for Christmas and I was over at his house for Christmas and he pulled a thwarting, he pulled an, uh, a fighting against fate um, and a bunch of other stuff. I mean, it was just like awesome stuff. These sleeves are, are gorgeous. They're really, really cool design. And each of the pack arts is also super, super cool. I hope this is something that they do every year. I think this is a great, great product. And then it also comes with this deck box and the deck box has a deck separator to keep your deck inside deck apart. And it's got Shenron and some Dragon Balls and UI Goku. Very cool stuff. So I'm just gonna shrip them all of these gift collections open and get all the packs together and then we're gonna shrip them these packs. Each of these gift boxes contains four packs and we're shripping 10 of these gift boxes. That's 40 packs. Oh, Goku, be bless him. Have a Vegeta secret rare or some UI Goku card in you. Bless him. Shrip them these things. So as always, I'm just gonna go right to the back of the pack and see every pack is gonna have something. Ooh, that's a brainwashed and our parallel for Dude, double brainwashed. I think that's relatively common in these packs to get uh, the parallel foil and the SR reprint style is the same card. Zamasu, and I haven't seen this one yet. That Gogeta looks pretty rad. Wow, nice looking card. Um, Yeah, I think in a lot of these packs, the SR reprint that you pull and the like foil on the back are the same. I don't think there's God packs. And oh, very cool. Nimbus Master. Nimbus Master is a great card. Chila the Beautiful is not a card I use very often. I know it was a card that was used more frequently at one point, but I don't know if it gets to all that much play these days. Mafuba! Wow. That is a great looking Mafuba. Look at that. Trunks looking so pissed. He doesn't even have pupils. So mad he is. He's got his hand out. He's laying the smack down. About to put Zamasu in a jar and a fighting against fate. You can't be mad about pulling a fighting against fate. How insane are these packs? They're just so good. And all the non-foils are also like really good cards. Ooh, Launch Feminine Wild and Vegeta Striving to be the best. I'm excited to see that Vegeta Striving to be the best reprint. I haven't seen that either, but I'm definitely looking for D-Magics and Senzu Beans. There's a Time Magic and a Parallel Foil Nimbus Master. That also looks great. The Parallel Foils themselves also just look really good. Yeah, Beans, D-Magics, Secret Rares, and any UI reprints. That's a pretty cool looking card. Ravager, I haven't seen that one. Another Chi-Li. Yeah, any of those UI cards or Beans or D-Magic, those are really the goal. Ooh, whoa, Paris thwarting looks wild. I saw David's at Nationals, but to uh, have one of my own. I think I actually still like the Winner Reaper. What the heck, a, a Fighting as Fate and a Thwarting in the same pack? I think I still prefer the Winner art. I think that's probably my favorite still, but Koizukai, it's kind of wild. And a Trunks Rogue Prospect. Don't think I've seen the Trunks Rogue Prospect trail well either but yeah d magic beans and ui goku's wow that's wild that looks really really good i should have got that i'm joking i'm joking there's another parallel foil nimbus master and the next shrip them is a goten awakening the beast i don't even know what that card is good in honestly not sure i think there was like a broly deck that it was played in from set like seven or eight or something like that don't remember android 17 pending crisis it's that one drop counter that card's useful when uh android stuff 
is out there and you need the 17s on board to absorb or whatever. Ooh, Fuse of Masu, Deity's Wrath. That's a that's a pretty pretty wild looking card. Wow, the quality on these is amazing. I mean, I feel oh, and an astonishing potential. That looks way better than the nor the other any of the other foilings. Um, yeah, I feel like these are nicer than super rares. They're somewhere between they're somewhere between like a SR and an SPR, but nicer than an SR. But maybe not quite at an SPR. But the fact that you get one in every pack is wild. Goku the last straw. Ooh, this is the one I get. This is a little double strike boy. That's pretty cool. Play that in my Frieza deck. That's definitely going in there. Very rad. Take a life, give him double strike. Useful card. Dragon Ball. Sick. And SS4 Goku Beyond All Limits. We're on a strip em, we're on a strip em hype train here. There not that many cards per pack. Yo, that cooler is sick. And another Fighting Against Fates. I'm gonna have such a fat stack of Fighting Against Fates from here. Very crazy. All right, what else has we got in here? Ginyu and a thwarting. This parallel foil thwarting looks so good also. Cards look fantastic. But yeah, I think I still prefer the winner. All right, let's get that Goku. No, Acrobatic Warrior. Acrobatic, I like. Uh, you know, this is a cool arrival concept where you can play this guy and then uh, if you can rest him off Piccolo Jr. and just burn somebody's life away. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Red, green shenanigans. Yo, Kefla, yes. Such a better art than the original art because the original one just like didn't have much going on. I kind of wish they rebooted her though. I feel like she needs a little something just a little bit more oomph and she would be relevant. I feel like she's not quite relevant right now, but I think she could be good. They changed something, but I'm not a card designer. I don't know. Oh, Super Kamehameha. Yo, that is sick nasty and heroic prospect. Oh yeah, if I pull the, uh, if I pull the power burst, I gotta give a shout out to Hermit Style. Throw some shades on that. Yo, Android 18 full of rage. That's also a cool looking card. And launch feminine wiles. Great looking cardboard. How about a UI Goku? Oh, the Broly leader. Very cool. And another cooler. That Broly looks pretty rad. Stellar. Stellar boys. And that CR wouldn't be bad either. That Cell taking a big dookie. That was a pretty good looking one. Oh, yo. Fighting against fate. This card looks so... This one, I think I like this better than the winner art. This one looks so good. Wow, that yellow in there. Whew. That's awesome. I know they're striving to be the best. What about a UI Goku or a Bean? How about a Bean? Chain attack trunks. He needed a parallel foil. I don't know if he's very relevant right now, but he was for quite some time. Maybe there's some pan list out there that still plays him, possibly. Yo, Swift Executioner. Definitely putting that in my Broly deck. I'm having fun playing that uh, that new Red Broly. I think it's a pretty interesting interesting deck with some interesting mechanics. After Image, heck yeah. And another Nimbus Master. How about a D-Magic though? Hmm. D-Magic or a Bean? Bean would be super cool. Oh, Bardock fully unleashed. I don't know. Oh, another thwarting. Dang, two thwartings already. I don't know what the ratios are on the on the drops for the beans. Another thwarting. Sick, nasty. I don't know what the drop rates are for anything. Actually, I don't even know how many secret rares come in a case and stuff. I was um gotta say I'm I'm kind of surprised at the uh, decisions for the secrets for this set. Kind of, kind of weird, honestly. Um, shocking death ball. All right, that's two of the sparking negates. But yeah, D magic would be great. Or a bean, or a secret rare, or a UI Goku. Another after image. A UI Goku of some sort. Heroic prospect. I like that parallel foil also. These promos that didn't have parallel foils that are getting the parallel foils here. The parallel foils look great in this. Brainwashed no more. We're gonna get a single UI Goku card here. Are there any of them in here? Ginyu and Heroic Prospect. I haven't even seen a parallel foil of the uh it's that six drop Goku, the promo one that only came in the dash packs with set nine universal onslaught dash pack Goku, the deflect triple strike guy. You like drop cards and just get more cards. Or you keep swinging. You can like minus somebody's leader by 5k every time you restand them and just keep swinging by pitching the extra cards. Yo, that's pretty sick. <laughs> and another Chi the Beautiful. I'm gonna have a whole army of Chi the Beautifuls. Secret rare. Can we get it? Or just a bean? All right, this definitely needs a uh, 
Parallel foil. I don't have any of these. This is the pseudo combo. So if you combo with this, you draw a card. Very, very good stuff. 10K combo also. Cause an energy, but combo and draw is good. Koitsukai, another one, and another astonishing potential Broly. And what about in here? Man, not a single D magic or bean. Bean! <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Yo, you just need to see it. All right, there we go. That's going right into Soul Striker. Yes, this bean looks so good. What a great looking Senzu bean. Kuririn abunai! Senzu da! Wow. And fighting against fate. So I don't think every card got parallel foils. I think it's just specific cards got parallel foils. Now if we just find another a D magic would be great. Secret Rare would be cool too. Prince of Destruction Vegeta. It's a shiny piece of cardboard right there. And a giant ball. And we got two more packs. Oh, the Evan Blessing the pack, of course. How about a UI Goku card? How about that? Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, Striving to be the best. I didn't see it. I haven't seen one of those. That's, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool looking card. And Brainwashed. And UI Goku. Here it is. Oh, I just, the only time I've seen it is in the, in the case at Comic Con. And it looks so good. I just want to pull it from the Zarbon. Heck. And another one of these Goku. This is a great card. All right, here's our Bless and Mo pack. and be blessing. Can we get can we get that six drop Goku in here, please? Just pull him right out of the back of the pack. Cooler. Isn't that, oh, and a secret rare. Wow. W weird. It's so weird to see this card as a parallel foil. What the heck and heck? So strange. Huh. Well, guys, that's been the Shrippum. Uh, definitely the Bean, I would say, is the most hype pull of this so far. But um, lots of really good, useful commons that you get. I think this is a really great product to open. I have Blast Shrippuming. Would have loved to get a D-Magic, but can't be mad about getting a Bean. But that was a lot of packs. That was like 40, pa 40 packs, one Bean, and no UI Gokus. Kind of crazy. So maybe I think singles is probably the way to go if you want to pick up specific stuff from this set. But uh, yeah, that's it. I am Joku DMD. I can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip to you today would be if you're going to eat beans, it's better to eat them cooked. Because if you eat a hard raw bean, it could be harder than your tooth and it could break your tooth or chip your tooth. So make sure your beans are cooked. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you can fight. I think that's how that goes. I'm Joe Joe and I'll see, see you guys, guys next time. time. Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? What is up, Joe Crew? It's me. <laughs> Joku DMD. Ah. And I'm here with a local Greg's Game Shrippum that I won with my TCG Medals leader. You can use my promo code JOKRU10 at TCG Medals to save yourself 10% on some shiny, beautiful metal leaders. Look at this beautiful Soul Striker. But now I'm going to show you. Show! I'm going to show you guys how to shrip them a Virginia. This is how you do it. You just you grab the pack because you won with your Soul Striker and you shrip them. And then Virginia comes right out of the pack. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's a good. It's a good. It's it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Cut it. Cut, 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 cut.